Achievement Award. Jean, I am blown away by your determination, your positivity, your resiliency, and ability to overcome major obstacles. This is hard. <laughs> Over the past month, I've been reading your book, so I feel like we have this connection. Um, I kind of think we're kind of best friends now. Um, I just want to say I'm sorry we didn't uh, serve the Fancy Pants pancakes tonight. And I'm sorry I'm not as good looking or charming as Johnny Depp. Um, but one of your best friends when you were growing up was named Tracy. So there's that, right? Perfect. Um, you have to read her book to understand. So her book is called Misdiagnosed. You can buy it on Amazon. Right? Perfect. Okay. Um, you spend many meals in the, this building with your college friends right down the hall. So I hope tonight's dinner brought back some of those memories for you as well. Those of you guys sitting with Jean tonight, you know her story and you have been with her every step of the way. But for those of you who have not met Jean before tonight, let me tell you a little bit about her. Jean was diagnosed at a young age with a debilitating disorder that affected her muscle control in her legs and her arms called spastic diplegia, a neurological disorder similar to cerebral palsy. She sought major medical attention for the first 30 years of her life and went through several anguishing surgeries just to try to make things easier. Many of the plans failed, and Jean was forced to use a mobility scooter in order to get around. Throughout her life, she was commended for her positive outlook and ability to hold her head high. Jean came to Winona State as a student in the 1990s and worked with Nancy Dumkey, Dumkey in our access services area to help make campus more accommodating for students with physical limitations. Jean graduated with a degree in organizational communications in 1998 and for several years worked for the Social Security Administration Office. After her condition got worse when she was in her 30s, Jean's life changed. She was no longer able to work due to her physical challenges. However, she was then referred to a doctor who suggested she try a new pill that would eventually turn her life around. Jean's faith led her to this treatment and on Good Friday of 2010, Jean's life changed dramatically for the better. She learned that day she had been misdiagnosed all those years. Jean has since been diagnosed with DRD, dopa responsive dystonia, which is a neurological disorder that responds extremely well to a drug that increases levels of the neurotransmitter dopamine. Through all her struggles, life still happened, and she persevered as all warriors do. Jean became the mother to three beautiful children who are with us today, Winona, Sharon, and John. She has authored the book, Misdiagnosed, My 30-Year Struggle with a Debilitating Disorder I Never Had. She has been interviewed on the Today Show, Fox News, and has appeared in Good Housekeeping. Jean is now a public speaker and blogger who presents to students about the impacts of kindness, bullying, and resilience. She uses her experiences to motivate and inspire others as she presents to school-age children, church groups, corporate personnel, and current students at Winona State. Currently, Jean serves as the Dean of the Speaker Academy for the National Speakers Association. She credits her professors in the Mass Communications Department for giving her the tools and the confidence to overcome her fear of public speaking. Jean mentioned that she truly felt that Winona State was her home and the students, faculty, and staff were her family. I know you've already said this many times in your book, but you may have been the rainy day friend, but you have now become the everyday friend with so many. Your family is your rock, and it is evident by the sight of them surrounding you today. Your alma mater is proud of you and, and all that you have accomplished. Keep sharing your story and spreading your light to your audiences. You have a powerful message about positivity, faith, and perseverance that needs to be heard. We are so proud to recognize you as a distinguished alumni of Winona State University. Please join me in congratulating Jean as she is presented with the 2021 Alumni Achievement Award.
purse. <laughs> 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 standing here before you tonight. 27 years ago, I came to campus as a scared girl using her mobility scooter. And I honestly wasn't sure if being able to attend college was something that I would be able to do. Because when I met with my high school guidance counselor and I told her that my plan was to go to Winona State University, she looked at me in her office and said, don't go because you will never make it because of my physical limitations. Luckily, I am an extremely stubborn person. <laughs> and and uh, I had an amazing support system to help me get through it. Mom and Dad, it's because of you that I am the strong, positive, courageous, optimistic woman I am. And I am beyond grateful that you encouraged me to understand that my physical limitations were going to be hard, but that I could do anything in my life. Anything. I might just have to do it a little bit differently. I'm grateful that you always put God first in our family, and that we understood that God had a plan for each and every one of us, but I never expected it that his plan would lead me to this. That I would be able to stand in front of you easily. That I'd be able to share my story with people all over the world and change their lives. So I thank you, Mom and Dad. services and she helped me to help make WSU accessible because truthfully when I came here there weren't many curb cuts and there were not very many push button doors and she helped support me every step of the way. John Burton, you were so one of those people because um, I was so involved in Res Life first being the treasurer of Sheehan Hall which honestly I don't know how I got that because I barely scraped by an accounting class. So that's just a little bit that. They must have really been desperate. <laughs> but then that led me also to be the VP of the Interresidence Hall Council. And I get to spend a lot of time with you. And you are one of the reasons that I am able to be the strong leader that I am today. And so I thank you for that. Jason, I'm very thankful for you because you are my support system, my rock, you encourage me, you celebrate me on my good days. And when things are hard, you remind me that, way, that what challenge I'm going through is just temporary. My son, John, you provide me with a lot of laughter and you remind me, you remind me to, to take moments in time and to enjoy them and just to laugh. You provide a lot of entertainment in our home. <laughs> my daughters, no one I can share. It truly is because of you that my book went to print. Because there were so many times that I wanted to quit writing it, and you always were very quickly and quick to remind me, is what I would always tell you, that we don't quit what we start. And so I finished my book, and that is because of you. But above all, I thank God for giving me the life that I have. I may not have always liked the path that he put before me, but now I understand why he put that path before me. And I hope for all three of my children that you will understand as you go through life that there will be challenges, there will be hardships, hardships. But no matter what, don't ever give up faith. And always remember that God is there for you to help you get through it. Be positive and be strong. But most of all, always be you. Thank you very much. 